Welcome back to the last episode of the story for 2020. Hopefully not the last one ever. My boss hasn't said anything yet about us uh, keeping this thing going. So I guess we'll have to wait till Monday to find out. Either way, keep using that hashtag, hey Dan, or emailing the story at kgw.com. We're gonna read some mean tweets at the end of the show. If, uh, if you need some incentive, hop on. Let me know what you think. But uh, before we read those tweets, we're going to read one of hers. That is Tootie Smith, soon to be chair of Clackamas County Board of Commissioners, who in November said she planned to defy the state's rules against large gatherings and host a Thanksgiving party. Then she went on Fox News and talked to Tucker Carlson and said that Governor Brown was treating Oregonians as, quote, second rate slaves, which ugh, was a little cringy at best. I tried to nab an interview with her after all of that, but she dodged me many times, which really didn't totally surprise me. But she then piqued my interest again two days ago when she tweeted this in all caps, quote, Oregon has fourth fewest virus cases yet among strictest lockdowns. I'll give you kind of a minute to chew on that. I want you to give get your own interpretation of what you think it means. See, to me, it reads like, and this is based on kind of what I know and would have read, have read about Tootie Smith, that she's mad that we're all locked down, even though cases are relatively low here in Oregon. Well, to me, I don't know, I'm reading it that Oregon has a relatively low number of cases because we have strict lockdowns, right? I mean, imagine me saying, or tweeting out, Dan gained seven pounds over the holidays, yet drank and ate horribly with total disregard for his waistline. You'd think, yeah, that's the equation. That's literally how it's supposed to work. Again, we don't know for sure exactly what she meant with that tweet. I do know how we could find out if she sat down with me for an interview, maybe next year.